So I just made it to the doctor. I'm waiting outside because I'm a little bit early, but we're leaving for Big Bear today and I've been having cramps since yesterday, basically all day yesterday. I've been having like stomach pain and cramping and I thought, I called the doctor yesterday and they said go to labor and delivery. It doesn't go away, but it didn't, but I just felt like it wasn't strong enough for me to go and complain and feel weak going to the hospital, you know what I mean? So I decided I would wait till the morning and now it is morning, it's Monday, so I was able to call my doctor and I'm coming in to see my doctor to see what's going on because it's just been basically in my whole lower stomach area and at this point I am 21 weeks pregnant so I am obviously concerned because we are leaving town for a couple days so I'm just excited to see what's going on and to make sure the baby's all okay. Um, it was a little nerve-wracking. I definitely broke down a little bit yesterday. Sorry for all the noise and cars. I'm just standing outside. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna go and find out what's going on. Oh, and did I mention that I had to Uber here because I don't have a car right now? And the lady was just yapping her whole face off the entire time and I didn't understand a word because it was in a different language. I speak in Spanish, which I don't know. And <laughs> it was just funny. Um, I wish I could just speak all languages so that when people do just yeah boy, I can at least understand, you know? I have something to listen to. <laughs> so I just got done with my appointment. Everything was looking good. Thankfully, I am still cramping though and having stomach pain, so I'm glad to know everything is okay. She did recommend I drink a lot of water, which I have been, and my pee has been clear. <laughs> Sorry for the TMI. But she did say try drinking something with electrolytes, like coconut water, Gatorade, things like that. So I am gonna get that, and then she said I could take some Tylenol. I actually haven't taken any painkillers this entire time throughout my pregnancy, so I think this is gonna be the first time I actually take some. But I feel like I need it. The pain is not going away, and I do have a trip we're going on, so I want to be able to feel good for that. And I don't know why when I got into the hospital room, I just got, not the hospital room, the doctor's room, I just got so emotional. I just got undressed and then just started crying as I was sitting there and trying to get myself to calm down before the doctor comes in because it's kind of embarrassing because there was zero reason for me to be crying, but I guess it's those pregnancy hormones and I'm just feeling extra, extra emotional. But I got through it. The doctor didn't see me crying and I managed to hold it together. Hey guys, okay, so I just got home and update on my cramping problems. I did get some Tylenol and some Gatorade. I downed like a whole Gatorade already and took two of these extra strength Tylenols and I'm already feeling better. It's been about 30 minutes maybe since I took them, so thank you, thank you, thank you. That's making me feel a little better. It's not all gone, but definitely feeling on the ups and ready for this trip to Big Bear. I actually ordered something fun for Onyx for our trip because we are renting a pontoon and gonna go out on Big Bear Lake. So I got Onyx, this cute little life vest. Look it up, look at it. It's for doggy, it's a doggy life vest. So Onyx is gonna be going out on the lake with us and in case anything happens, he's gonna be safe. Also, <laughs> I ended up getting some baby stuff, duh, of course. I got these black and white cute muslin swaddles. It's like little patterns. So I'm excited about these. These are the first swaddles I have actually bought. I'm gonna be getting some of those zip up ones, but I haven't gotten any yet. And then I also got some socks. They're so cute, little pink and green. And then I got a pacifier holder, little pacifier clip, pink and gray, I like the coloring. I haven't taken it out of the box yet, nor do I know how well it works yet because I don't have a baby to attach it to, but I will soon. But yeah, this all gets me so excited, it's insane. Who am I, guys, who am I? And the last thing I got, I got this Zappy Do, um, what is it, a towel? Oh yeah, hooded baby towel. And I think this is like a panda. Oh, it feels nice. Oh, it's pretty big too. Oops. I guess it comes with some washcloths because that just fell out of the packaging. <laughs> but yeah, here it is. It's quite large. I'll be the first one to try it out. 
So here it is, the panda towel. It's a good size. It's really cute and it feels really soft. So definitely happy with all of my Amazon purchases. Purchases. And yeah, I'm just waiting for Spencer to get home from work and then we're gonna load up the car and head out. I'm packing for both of us, so hopefully he likes everything that I picked out for him. He told me to pack for him, so we'll see. He tends to get really angry if I do something. Pack the wrong clothing. <laughs> He's really picky about what he wears. So hopefully I didn't screw that up. So we're finally in the car on the way to Big Bear. We've had <laughs> a bit of a mishap. We're having a very late start. It's already 7.20. We were supposed to be on the road around four or five. Right, Spencer? Yeah. But Spencer got into his car after work and it didn't start. So we had to call roadside assistance and wait for them to arrive and jumpstart the car. And we were almost thinking about getting a rental car because we're like, I was like, I don't know if I want to risk taking this car and then, you know, getting caught in the mountains in the middle of the night, just, you know, stopped on the side of the road somewhere. But he just left the car on, so we're kind of risking it right now. A little piece of advice for everybody out there. No matter what it is that you decide to do, right from the jump, call AAA, whoever it is, put that in motion. And then if you figure something out in between the time that you call them and before they get there, then great. Then you can cancel the AAA, you got them there already, and you tried your best, but it didn't happen. Or it didn't. Yeah, because we spend a lot of time just, you know, trying to figure fighting out. Fighting and talking amongst ourselves, stressing out, trying to figure out what's the best option, just get a car, leave the car there or you know try to get the car home so i think we wasted like 30 minutes just trying to figure out what to do when well, we could have called and they were there AAA. they were there and a lot they came a lot faster a lot than faster than, than they, they were said supposed to have been there. yeah which thank god which that never happened. happened which never happens never ever ever remember when we had to get your car towed it took like two hours but i mean i guess it just i guess it just depends on what who's yeah, in the that area was, that also wasn't triple a though yeah. Well, this was Land Rover roadside assistance, but I think they just call per different providers. Yeah. It's not it's not like I have AAA. But yeah, we're on the road. We're on the way. We're definitely risking it. Hopefully the car will start once we turn it off at whatever point that is. But we're going to find that just out. Just leave it later. on all night. Yeah. No, we're not just going to leave it <laughs> on all night. Fucking die of carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> but yeah, Onyx is coming. He's ready. Sad he can't stick his head out the window. Look at that sad powder out the window. But we're on the freeway. I'm sad about that hour that that I we lost. lost. But it's okay. We're still gonna make it. We're getting there a little late. I was hoping we were gonna get there and still have a bit of daylight so we could see what's around us, but and it's extra, gonna be dark. <laughs> an extra hour I could It's spend gonna with be dark. My, my family. Aw, aren't you a sweet talker? I tried to be Look at that sweet talking face. But yeah, we're still excited. My stomach's starting to hurt again though. I'm counting down the time that I can take my Tylenol again. So that's the update for right now. You're a druggie. <laughs> I'm not a druggie. That's freaking Tylenol. I haven't taken anything this entire pregnancy. Nothing. Zero. Before you know it, the next thing you'll be doing is freaking shooting up some heroin. What? Are you crazy? That is insane. Actually, yesterday, another thing that kind of happened, we were walking Onyx and he ate something off the ground. And it looked like throw up. And we started freaking out because we saw further down the block a homeless person throwing up insanely. And it's like these crackhead heroin addicts that are living on the corner near us. And so Spencer started freaking out. I started freaking out. We're trying to figure out we need to take him to the vet. If maybe that's like I, drug infused. I went down to the guy. <laughs> I went down to the the throw up scene to Just investigate and see if to it matches. <laughs> and it looked very similar to this to the stuff that we that he had already eaten. But what he ate from was like a tiny little patch, and this guy vomited like a bucket full. My heart started racing. I started tearing he up. She had the little tear. I was like, oh my god, are you crying? <laughs> He got so worried for Onyx, but I think the main thing he was worried about was whether or not he could get AIDS. Whether or not Onyx could get AIDS, right? 
that was it. Whatever other shit these freaking people are carrying. But luckily those type of diseases aren't transferred. I was more worried about if there was like, you know, like drug traces or something that could get in his system and like kill him, you know. Um, but he seems to be fine. He, the only thing, he did drink a lot of water last night, but maybe it's because he ate a lot of food a before bed. A lot of water freaking pissed everywhere. <laughs> Woke up to a morning surprise. But he hasn't done that in a long time. Because he closed the door. He, he was asking to come out. So since I saw he was coming out all the time, I left it open. Yeah, he's asking to come out. <laughs> he comes over there and bombards me, freaking licks me to death. <laughs> he, woke, he woke him up. He went, I opened the door. I'm like, yeah, for the first time in my life, I'm like, <laughs> get away, Onyx. And he went and drank like a liter of water and then jumped on Spencer and started kissing him like, like, wanting attention crazily i like got him i tried to snuggle him up like <laughs> hey, hey i lay down lay down like it's gonna be all right, it's gonna be all right. nope nope lickety lickety <laughs> lickety splickety get up i gotta go to the bathroom we've had a crazy 24 hours but we're almost at big bear why is this light shining on my nose making it look so weird <laughs> it's not the light it's your nose <sighs> we made it to our little cabin has a hot tub. My wife's throwing a fit. Because exactly what I said was gonna happen, happened. I we get here, turn was, off the car, I, and now it won't start again. I didn't say that it wasn't <laughs> going to happen. I didn't say that. I but you said, were just okay with the I possibility. Just said, let's get there. Yeah. We're here for one night. We can manage, even if we gotta jump our car one more or two more times. There we go. Got the hot tub. <laughs> Back to the tour. Fireplace. TV. This place is really cute. Spencer's cute. Yeah. It comes with a little fridge. Microwave. McDonald's. Well, we got the McDonald's. We better eat these before the fries go bad. That's the one thing about McDonald's. It's bathroom, a little shower, onyx, scoping out the territory. But yeah, other than the car not starting, we made it and uh, we're here. <laughs> so. We're here and we're totally gonna come back to this again. Yeah, it's a cute little spot. Little cabin in the woods. Ooh. Creepy. Can't beat this. This is awesome. Smells clean. It is clean. So we just devoured our McDonald's. We have some apple pies left. That's about it. Onyx got a treat. He's happy. He's happy. He's been exploring. <laughs> yeah, he's happy for now until he starts trying to dig up all the other treats. Just gonna chill now. Full bellied. Got our stuff. Luckily, the car is locking. So we are able to lock it, but tomorrow we're gonna have to Uber to our pontoon, and then, um... You gotta put a little extra into that toilet lever, just to let you know. Oh, thanks, for, just, thanks for the heads up. Just get ready. But yeah, so we're gonna have to Uber to our boat tomorrow, because we're taking a pontoon tomorrow out on the lake, and then come back here and then call roadside assistance again to jumpstart the car to get back home. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> this is what Spencer says. Is, Sweet. Get your knee out of my stomach. What's your problem? Move over. I'm already on the fucking corner of the bed like usual. Don't you fucking... yell at me. It's too late at night. Bro. <laughs> Are you enjoying the, the sound of your fan? I'm not enjoying the sound of your damn voice. All the time. So this is the fan that Spencer likes to sleep to. <laughs> he said it's a really soothing sound to him. Mm -hmm. Like a creaky bed clock or something. I don't know. <laughs> Are you jamming out? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, on that note, good night. <laughs> no, this is not how we're sleeping. Yeah. What coffee? He cranked it up <laughs> on the fan and turned on.
This honky donkey. Ooh, yeah. I can't handle this. This is not happening. I feel like I'm at a train station. Mm -hmm. We're just making out like usual. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Such a great evening. I just get to wait till he falls asleep so I can turn everything off. Such a great evening. We just spend quality time together. <laughs> oh my god. Spencer and I got matching jackets, gold stars. All right. Honestly, in the mirror. It's me too. Gold. <laughs> They're men's jackets, but I just got a small and he got a large, so it works. Mm. So Hello, good. my love. Hello. Mm. Mm. Ow! Oh, don't leave. Sorry. <laughs> Cabin. This is our little yard. Onyx is somewhere out here, I think. Onyx! Oh, sorry. Onyx! Where'd he go? Can't find her dog. Oh. Where were you? There's the wolf. Where were you? Exploring? The big bear wolf. <laughs> you were exploring the territory? We're about to heat up some burritos for breakfast and make some coffee. And then we're gonna go we got down to the docks. We're gonna Uber to the docks. We got down on some McDonald's last night. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Some McFlurries. <laughs> apple pie. Oh, apple pie. And crispy chicken sandwich. Buttery. Butter ranch. Chicken sandwich. <laughs> Buttery what? I don't know, was it buttermilk? Butter ranch? Buttermilk. Buttermilk. Crispy chicken sandwich. And fries. And large, large French oil. Fry. Larger mm, of the French yams. <laughs> no! Ew, you got a big tongue. <laughs> no! <laughs> Here he comes. Welcome home, Onyx. Did you have fun out there? Did you have fun? Yeah, so much fun. So Spencer made the coffee overflow. Oh. He's obviously a professional coffee brewer. I had a plan. You're a professional barista? It didn't work. <laughs> Well, you got these burritos from Trader Joe's. Your burrito's ready, sir. Luckily, there was a microwave. So, feels pretty good. This is the bean and cheese one. Your burrito is served, darling. Thank you, love. Thank you. Bon appetit. I'm going to heat up my burrito. We just picked up some firewood. Daddy's gonna make fire. Ooh. The fire starting. No, I thought we were gonna start a fire. <laughs> Wasn't this nice? Fire feeds these onyx. You liking the fire? Don't bite me again. <laughs> oh, we got the fire going. Thanks to this woodsman crafter. I did it. Did you brush your teeth? Nope. Ew! <laughs> Did the rose. Did you wash your hair? <laughs> no. The bathroom would say otherwise. <laughs> There's no hot water. <laughs> Made it to the marina. We're gonna get our pontoony doony. Onyx gets to try out his right, new yeah, life gotcha. vest. Onyx, what do you think? Thank you. It's your first time on a boat. Thank you. What do you think, Onyx? You're on a boat. Look, Daddy's driving the boat. Look at him go. We got our pontoon. Onyx wearing a life vest. Yeah. Behind the wheel. Off we go. Here we got our 
ourselves a little guest. What's up, little guy? Hey, duck, duckaroo. He's floating on the lake, chilling, chilling. Want to join us on the boat? We got some Gatorade and chicken jerky. Quack, quack, quack. We're about to feed the duck with some cheese. Mozzarella. Mozzarella cheese. Honestly, Since Onyx don't so need it. Get it, duck. <laughs> Playing fetch with the duck. Throw him a far one. Show them how he gets it. Ducky! Get it! Oh, he didn't see you. He's gonna be little. Oh, no, he's gonna get it. Oh, you lazy duck. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you dived for the cheese. You want some cheese. <laughs> you see the duck eating the cheese. Now you want it. <laughs> you are such a brat. Update on the situation. We're off the boat. Now we're stuck in the marina. Because we can't get an Uber to come with us and take us back to our car. I'm so full. <laughs> yeah? Did you have enough McDonald's? <laughs> now I did. Yeah? Good. I'm happier. The large happy order of french fries. I had a sup. A sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle with a hash brown. And a bacon, egg, and cheese. Unwanted bacon. Not the cheese, egg, and biscuit part. I wanted sausage on it. Anyway. Bacon, still... egg, and cheese biscuit. Then he has an apple pie still waiting on him. Orange juice. Onyx is pooped. Yeah, getting this bed I was comfortable down to say, Christina, <laughs> Why did you feel the need to interrupt? Because you were slow. <laughs> so get off my booty. Booty hole. He also blamed a fart on me a little bit ago. He said that I farted when he farted. Okay, well I said you farted, you just said I was slow, so there we go. <laughs> but what I was saying is true. Okay. No, it is not. <laughs> Just full. It is full. It is not true. Finally on the way home. Oh, our car started, by Are the way. Are you talking about me? On its own. Are you talking about me just being full? What? I'm good. <laughs> I got room. No, you do not. I got room. You do not have room. <laughs> I didn't you need have, to have as much less as you. Room. I did. I ate less than you. But yeah, so. Buy what? Like five french fries? <laughs> <laughs> a kind Uber driver offered to jumpstart our car, but then he didn't end up having the jumper cables. But our car actually ended up starting on its own by the grace of the heavens somehow. We did a little prayer before we came out here and it worked because our car started and we are driving back to LA straight to the auto body shop, of course. But It's kind of weird though, right? It's so weird. What? Because before we left to try to go to the marina, it wouldn't start. No. Okay, and then when we get back... It starts. Boom, boom. Yeah. Maybe it was our little duck friends giving us some... Yeah, I'm telling you, it was it some. was somebody. Those ducks were somebody. I was saying that it's somebody we know that has passed that was hanging out with us because they were just two ducks hanging around our... Nobody else had ducks by them Pontoon, but us. yeah. And Nobody. they wouldn't leave. They just kept swimming around and around. It was the oddest thing. And we were like in the middle of the lake. Well, one specific one for sure. Yeah. There were two at one point, but it, that one didn't stick around for long because we didn't have any of the goods left. Because Christina had frozen the eggs that I was going to kindly give her. <laughs> I the, didn't freeze them. You, they were frozen, oh, boiled please. eggs. They would have eaten it frozen. Trust me. I was trying to give them a, a delicacy. A delicacy. <laughs> Eggs. Eggies. Eggies for the duckies. But yeah, so luckily everything worked out. And look how beautiful the road is. Gorgeous. We came in during nighttime yesterday, so we didn't get to capture any of it. But we're back, we're full, we're happy. And heading home. I'm gonna be happy to get a burger too from. Oh, a burger. Well, we're almost home, and 
and I cannot wait to take a shower because we didn't have any hot water there at our little cabin unfortunately so we didn't get to so I'm really looking forward to that but thank you guys so much for watching this vlog don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos and we will be back soon with more updates and vlogs and videos so hit that subscribe button see you guys later bye